crafty babes it's andrea i'm here to show you my traveler's notebook for july of 2017. i have completed all of the photos i had set aside for this month and i would love to share them with you so here is the opening page i'm doing something just very simple to just make sure i know what year and well actually this one even doesn't have the year but uh, just so that i know what month it is when i go back to these my very first uh, entry in here was uh, using the wonderfully wired set from Illustrated Faith's Print and Pray Shop. This was just about um, a wonderful uh, experience I had outside of my patio when I realized that the sun rises right outside my patio. Um, and it was just like a nice little wink from God that he's like, hey, listen, <laughs> I know that you don't want to be in this this apartment, but... Um, I've got some some surprises for you. So this is a, a really special entry for me. This was super fun because I loved how perfectly some of the Gossamer Blue stuff from August matched my uh, floral shirt from Mindy May's Market. I kind of just threw embellishments on here in a collage style and loved it. I loved it so much, just like a little puzzle piece making everything fit. It was just super fun. I am so blessed to have friends that care and um, Asia two girls stuff she she sent me this watercolor card along with a huge supply of washi strips that she wanted to share and so I wanted to I didn't want I just didn't want to keep this in a box of special things I really wanted it um, to be commemorated so I grabbed some purple and green black stuff and made sure that it was in here forever this is a page that I have a process video on, and you can check that out on my YouTube channel. Uh, maybe I'll link that at the end here too so you can see it. But this is just a, another kind of grid collage style. Uh, I just love trying different things, and, and one of my favorite things about this layout is that I stamped this stitching onto the edges here and then decided to outline it as if it were just kind of part of the border. It just made it feel a little extra quirky and then again i'm doing a lot of the doodles and or little dots of of plus signs and dots and little clusters of kind of messiness i'm feeling like i can be a little bit more creative and free in this notebook and it it just makes me happy uh listen i i love a good taylor swift song and when she left spotify i was a sad sad girl so uh when <laughs> When her stuff came back onto Spotify, I was super excited that I even posted it on my stories. So that's what this photo is. And I just used some orange and gray just to match the photo and uh, did a little journaling. So this was fun. I also have a uh, process video on this layout as well that you can check out. Another outfit of the day uh, sometimes when the photo is a full length I will I will print the whole thing in traveler's notebook size and then do a little bit of a detail of the outfit and here just I feel I felt like a couple of them um, a couple of them was enough to show what the outfit looked like and so uh, I just used some doilies because it was a nice feminine color scheme and the florals are really feminine so uh, yeah, the very, very simple little bit of layering and, and tearing. These two are not meant to go together. Uh, so you're just going to have to imagine one at a time here. <laughs> um, this is about a swimsuit that I purchased myself. It's a, this vintage inspired one piece that, uh, I found from, uh, Jessica Ray swimwear. It's really super cute. And I just love uh, the vintage style and so I just found a bunch of it's just a hodgepodge of of supplies that matched um, And I wasn't really pleased with how the layout came out But again, sometimes you just kind of rock and roll with it just to get it done This one on the other hand, I really dig how it turned out. I just liked all the little things poking out in the circles and um, just the the whole way that it came together so sometimes you can use very similar colors and products and they turn out very differently <laughs> this is one that i 
put off doing this photo for, and I'm not really sure why I kept putting it off, but maybe it's just because I needed to come up with the right supplies. So uh, I just pulled out a few colors that matched and I really wanted this layering, tucking kind of thing going on. And then I had this leftover piece from, it's a piece of paper from the crafted box. It was from old school, uh, the crafted kit, uh, is something that I it's also on my YouTube channel I did a, a look inside of this um, this kit and it's got all kinds of old basically old school stuff that uh, it was really fun so this was a piece of a like a youth dictionary and I noticed that it had herself here so I decided to tear that piece out and then just kind of highlight that with a little frame and it's just about me being my true self with the colors that I like and red fingernails and a vintage and vintage ring and, and just polka dots and plaid and red. And so uh, journaling sometimes isn't really necessary when just the photo kind of speaks for itself. And here's one uh, that I took right after I got out of the pool and just my hair looked like this for so many days uh, when we utilized the pool in the heat heat of the summertime. And uh, Gossamer Blue had a stamp set designed by Tracy Reed that said pool hair don't care. So I stamped it once and then went up in the generations up here so that it got lighter and lighter. And then I used a piece of Felicity Jane paper here and then just used a, a blue gelato and kind of smeared it around so it had a bit of a soft look. And then again, from that same dictionary page was the word heat. And so I just figured I'd use that. I didn't have a lot of summer supplies out and ready at my fingertips. So I didn't have a lot of embellishing going on here. And that's okay. Sometimes I just need to get them in and finished. This is a screenshot of when Susanna Marco poloed me and I just, it, I get so happy when my friends polo me because I like interacting and listening to the stuff that they have to say. So uh, this is just a page about how I love hearing from her. Um, she always just, I don't know, I dig her. I like her so much. She's my friend. Uh, so anyway, very simple. I just used uh, some colors from this screensaver. This wallpaper is actually from my friend Christy Makes and she hand lettered a bunch of these and put them on her stories for us to save them. And so I had that as my uh, lock wall, my lock screen wallpaper for um, several months. Here is a, oh, hold on, my microphone is showing. Okay. Uh, here is a Harry Potter inspired layout that I did because my shirt says I don't go looking for trouble. Trouble, trouble usually finds me. And this is a tank top that I found at Target. And so I just thought it would be more appropriate to use some Harry Potter things. And all three of these Harry Potter cards are from in a creative bubble. Uh, and then I just used um, a, an orange and a yellow to kind of match with these highlighted pieces. Uh, to make some stars and and kind of like little magical sparkles everywhere. And one more, um, July was a very difficult month. There was a lot going on at work and at home. We were trying to get settled in to a very small place. Um, and I ran across this, <laughs> I ran across this quote and I just, it was just, it was perfect for me at the time. And so I um, decided to lighten it up with some super bright washi and this fun uh, pie chart. This is from Lists by Faith. It was one of the very first uh, Illustrated Faith uh, monthly devotional kits designed by Corey the Reset Girl. So I've hung on to this for so long because I just knew that I was going to need it at some point. And this is it. So that's it for July. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and we'll talk again really soon. Bye guys.